first color here is going to be Citadel's Contrast Gilliman's Flesh, which I've been using on all of these miniatures just to cut time down. I really wanted her to have a lighter skin tone, so if you use this, go easy on it. The second color we're going to use is for her hair. It's contrast color Iandin Yellow. Again, this is an easy way to cut a few corners. This color likes to settle in almost an orange in the recesses if you use it thickly, but is definitely a blonde finish. And the key is going to be moving this around to getting it to where you want it. You'll notice that I didn't do her ears with the gillum and flesh. What happened is I realized that I really needed to do her hair first before the lighter tone of the gillum and flesh or I would have to do a lot of touch up. So I go back here and I touch up with my undercoat which is Citadel's Wraithbone. That's what I primed it with and then I will do the ears. Mixing some refractive green from Vallejo Model Color and Vallejo Model Color Buff together to get the green that I want for her dress. Moving then to her cloak, I wanted a nice earthy brown to contrast with the yellowish green, and so I started with Citadel's Mournfang Brown. to bring some variety to the green and the brown so I chose a yellow for her cuffs and for the trim on the bottom of her dress just to set it off a little bit I started with Vallejo model color buff and then 
realized it didn't leave me much room to highlight. It was a little too bright to start off with, so then I went with Vallejo model color Desert Yellow, which is just a more muted yellow. I went ahead and grabbed the Citadel Contrast Color Gargrunta Fur, which we've used on every model. Again, it's a nice leathery, ropey, kind of ambiguous color that's got a reddish tint to it. Adds some visual variety to the browns, and we've done that on every model just to tie them all together when they're on the board. For the highlights on her cloak, very simple. I took that Mornfang Brown that I used earlier as the base layer and I started adding Vallejo Model Color buff to it and added in increments to highlight. So here's where I wanted to spend the most time on the model and that is highlighting the dress. So I take that refractive green and buff mixture that I have earlier and I start making a gradient out of it and building up the layers along the gradient. in her hair I take some flash blitz yellow and add just a little bit of white to it and just hit the upper raises of the top of her head and it blends in really nice with the iodine yellow. I then go back and add some buff to the desert yellow and do a little bit of highlighting here on the cuffs and the trim of her dress. the Vallejo Model Air Silver. I do her pendant, the clasp where her cloak meets, and the sheath tip and her knife handle. And again, I wanted to show off basing, and this is the Geek Gaming Scenics Arid Grasslands. Again, you just paint some glue on it, and you dip it. You can pick up rocks and place them if you want. I found that I just liked her simple base with her dress, it didn't pick up many rocks and, and I'm okay with that. Just a simple tip when dipping minis, I a lot of times have to go back and hit some areas with glue that I miss. You'll see that here, but it's a good idea to wipe with your finger glue off of the rim if you're going to paint the rim. And here's Arwen all painted up. I did go back and hit the head piece in the back. I didn't see that that was a separate piece and not her hair when I was painting it. I hope as always you enjoyed this content. If you did, please hit that like button. Think about hitting that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you're notified when the next video goes live. And if you haven't already, there's a video link and that is to the giveaway announcement. We have hit 100 subscribers. If you want to enter, hit that like button, be a subscriber, and leave a comment in the comment section of this or any video this week. 
this contest ends on the first so make sure you do that it's a small token of thanks to all in this community who are just making it grow making it special and encouraging each other just a, a wonderful place for us all to get together and share this love of solar board gaming and painting And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming.